Welcome to MathsMaster.org. We're going to have a look now at a fantastic activity called Curves of Pursuit. I'm going to show you how you can create one of these Curves of Pursuit. For this activity you'll need a sheet of paper, a pencil, a ruler and some colouring pencils or some felt tip pens. Curves of Pursuit look like this. Two fantastic examples here. Can you see how there are actually curves in these diagrams that are formed by the corners of the squares, the vertices of the squares, as they rotate round. You get these curves of pursuit. So let's get started. To start with, draw yourself a square, nice and big, in the middle of your page. <clears throat> then, measure one centimeter in the direction that you can see on this diagram, measure one centimetre from each corner and make yourself a little mark as you can see here. It's important that you do measure in the directions that I've shown here. Okay, the next step is literally just to join those new points together and you get another square that I've drawn in blue here. Then you just repeat the process over again but on this new square. So on this new blue square, measure one centimeter from each corner and notice we're always going clockwise around the, the square with our measurements and make yourself some little marks that are all one centimeter from each corner. Then surprise, surprise, we just link those points together with a straight line and we get another square as you can see here and then repeat the process over again. So on this third square, you measure one centimeter from each edge, uh, from each corner, and then you link those points together to form another square. And you just repeat this process over and over again until you get your curve of pursuit, which is formed like this. You just keep going until you literally can't fit any more in. And at this stage, you might want to then go and colour in the different parts of the diagram, make it look pretty. OK, why though start with a square? You can make these curves of pursuit by starting with many different shapes. I've just put some up here um, for ideas. Also, rather than measuring one centimetre from the corner each time, you can vary that. So maybe do it half a centimetre or a quarter of a centimetre if you're feeling really ambitious. Just play, have some fun and see what you can produce. That was Curves of Pursuit. If you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.